Good morning, grade 9. So, this is Teacher Mark. Our lesson for today is all about variations. So, variation. What is variation? A change in the value of function due to small changes in values of its ag arguments or arguments. There are three basic of types of variation. First is direct, inverse, joint variation. So, there is special type of variation. Combined variation. So, direct variation is if y varies directly as x or if y is directly proportional to x. So, y is equals kx. So, that is their uh, equation. So, always remember that k is always a constant. If y is directly proportional to the cube of x, so this is our equation, or this rather, this is our variation. So you just put k as a constant. Next, if y squared varies directly as the square root of x, so you just write k here and then just y squared and square root of x. The volume of sphere as a v represented and r for radius so, it is varies directly. Therefore, it's just V is equals K R cubed. So, more example. If Y is varies directly as X, if Y is equals 5, when X is equals to 80, what is Y when X is equals 120? Isn't it hesitate? So, can you solve it? So, how to solve this? First, you write the equation or the variation. So, y is equals kx because y varies as x. On the first place, it says that if y is equals 5 when x is equals to 80, in this scenario, you need to get first the k. So, use the division property. So, you, you substitute y by 5 and x by 80. And then using the division property, you need to divide it by 80 both therefore you have k is equals 5 over 80 but in that case you need to what you need to simplify that therefore the k is 1 over 60 then in this third place it says that what is y when x is 120 so after you get the k you substitute k and x which is the x is 120 now you just multiply it so that you get the y. So, 120 over 16, you just multiply 1 times 120. So, there is a invisible 1 there. 1 times 20 is equals 120. 16 times 1 is 16. So, simplify it 15 over 2. Okay. Next example. So, if y is by directly as x again. So, again. So, that is the first sentence. And then the first phrase, here you need to find the k. And then here in the third phrase is you need to find the y. First step is you need to find the k. So how do we do that? So first, write the variation. And then substitute both the, uh, in the first phrase, you substitute 4 over 7 by x. And then y is for 1 over 3. And they use cross multiply. How do we do that? You multiply by 7 there. Then, then 4 times 3. So, that's what you call cross multiply. <clears throat> and then, after that, you get it. So, you have your first phrases, which is the answer is the k. And then, write the formula again. y is equals kx. And substitute k on the third, uh, second place, which is you need to find the y. So, you need to substitute the x and then, which is the k, 7 over 12. So, this is our solution. This is the multiplication of fraction concept. So, how do we do that? So, 7 times 5 or negative 5 and 12 times 13. So, you have negative 35 over 156. Next, sample number 3. For this, y varies directly as the square root of x if y is equal to 24 when x is equal to 2. What is when 
what is y when x is equals one half so again so this is our sentence first sentence you need to write first their solution okay so the variation is just like this because there is an x squared the first phrase if y is equal to for when x is equals to 2 okay so that is our first phrase so you need to substitute that first phrase for this variation so after that thing for for y and 2 for x use the division property after you simplify 2 times 2 is equals 4 uh, that is not 2 times 2 itself it should be 2 times 2 okay it means that you need to multiply twice by itself that number because that is an exponent and then use the division property again you divide it by 4 so the answer there is 6 okay because you cancel here and then 6 is our k so in that case in the second place for this find y if x is 1 up and then you should write substitute k for 6 again multiplication of fraction concept 6 times 1 so there is a 1 there 6 times 1 6 1 times 2 is 2 therefore you multiply uh, you divide or simplify that is 3 next so inverse variation another variation so if y is inversely as x or y or if y is in inversely proportional to x so what is the variation or equation of that so y is equals k over x this time our constant is in numerator and then the denominator is the x where k again is constant of variation if y is inversely proportional to the cube of x so in that case this is its expression okay so that's the equation or the variation of this expression yeah. next another thing if y squared varies inversely as the square root of x so we just like this again how what is square root square root is just like this and then the squared is they have it has an exponent and the third expression is the volume of sphere varies inversely as the cube of radius so as you may see the k is not gone because you don't need to what forget that the constant is always inserted for its variation so let's have an, an application first application of first example for this inversely proportion the first sentence is you must to derive it from its variation so this is the variation of this first sentence the second one is the first phrase so in the first phrase you need to substitute that and you need to look for k and then this one is you need to look for y first is you need first thing you do is you need to get the k so what is k so how do you do this first is substitute x which is 2 and 24 is y cross multiply you multiply 24 there 2 times 24 times 2 but there is a 1 there so you need to multiply there so that is the cross multiply so the our k or the constant is 40 then write the formula again substitute k and x to find y so in this case this is a uh, division so you need to reciprocal one half and it will change into two over one so therefore 48 times 2 is 96 next next example example number five y inversely proportional to the square of x if y is equals to five when x is equals to two what is y if it is first you need to f find first the expression or the equation for this y inversely proportional again you're right because that is the square of x uh, there, there is a big difference between the square and the square root of x the square is you need to put squared if you said square root you need to put a radical okay 
So first, in the first place is y is equal to 5 and when is x is equal to 2. So you need to substitute first 2 times 2 and 5. Okay? So you, so after you simplify it or substitute it, you simplify and then you cross multiply again for times 5 and then 5 times 1. Because always remember that there is a invisible one there. <coughs> After that, 20 is equal to k. Our constant is 20. Therefore, we must to write the formula again and then substitute k and x, which is we need to find the y in this part. In this scenario, you need to change x by 4, not x equals to 2. Because this is our, we need to find y here. So, 4, 4 squared is what? What is that? That is not 4 times 2. That is 4 times 4 okay and then after that that's 16 you simplify therefore our y there is 5 over 4 next sample number 6 y inversely proportion to the square root of x if y equals to 50 when x is 36 so our first sentence is you need to find the variation okay so our variation is that so, y equals k over square root of x. Then, the first phrase says, you need to find the k. I suggest that you need to underline the sentence to be able to comprehend or to understand what is we need to find. Next is substitute and simplify. So, here, as you may see, square root of 36. 36a perfect square. Therefore, square root of 36 is 6. Oh, that's 6. Oh, that's 16. I, I think that is 16. Uh, sorry. Typographical error. So, that is 16. So, so, that is 4 times 50. That is, I think, that is 200. Okay, so there is a typographical error here. So that is 200. So then we write formula again. So this is 200 as you may see. Oh. Okay. So 200 sha. And then. 200. So that is divisible by 4. I think that is not an 5. Okay. So, that is 50 over 4. Okay. So, that is again divisible by 2. So, we must do. Okay. So, that is 25 over 2. So, our answer here, the y there is 25 